wanted to just show a little hack that I did for things. Um, I have two Moonraker shuttles, but for some reason the rear uh, flap uh, that's located right underneath the engine housing on one of the kits was missing. So I took the complete one from the current kit that I'm building right now and I realized I can't really well I, I could if I wanted to but I'm not gonna invest all the time to actually make a an actual wing cross-section by trying to file down or use uh, putty and so forth I just took a piece because this is two halves so I took the bottom half that doesn't have the two uh, uh, bits on it for fitting into the the receptors and I just put it on some thick stock styrene that I have some gray styrene traced it out cut it out and I'm gonna just improvise with that and now I've got two but for the other one since it has the two nubs on it I had to gouge in on both sides so it will lay flush okay but now I've got my two pieces for both shuttles and uh, that's a nice simple solution since it does not need to be an actual uh, wing cross-section for what that part actually is on the shuttle. Um, I'm sure the original mold was set that way but there there is no <laughs> for the actual flap itself on the shuttle it's it's not aerodynamic on upper and lower parts because it's at the very back of the shuttle underneath the engine housing. Uh, so the original mold they just did it as a wing mold uh, but it, it is after all a flap underneath the engine housing so it's a break more than anything okay so it, it doesn't have to be a wing cross-section so I'm happy with my little solution to it I think this is uh, this is gonna do more than enough to uh, keep the kits complete uh, I've got to get these uh, engine nozzles uh, assembled and painted but I am also waiting on the shuttle to dry with a coat of primer I just put on the uh, the cargo uh, covers the hanger covers and then I'm going to paint it all white and then gloss it so I can do decals on it and then dull coat it afterward so I'm just kind of taking my time with it but I wanted to show that little fix that I came up with to just get rid of that headache of oh my god how am I going to fabricate another piece gonna go this way very simple that's it